Well, that's too bad, Mario, because we're back for a little more Let's Play Super Mario 64. In this part, we're gonna head down the stairs, and, uh, we say we finish up the basement. Head down some more stairs. Head down some more stairs. Head down a couple more stairs. Head down still more stairs. And just for funsies, let's go down. Wait, is that a ramp or stairs? Okay, there's more stairs. Okay, enough with the stairs. We're going to hop into Dire Dire Docks and finish her up. Now that we can. Pull jumping for red coins. We're going to get 100 coins here. It's going to be actually pretty hard. I'm pretty sure there's like just over 100. Uh, oh wait, what are we doing? We're not doing that one. Get out of the way, Sharky. Mario wouldn't turn around. So today is July 4th. Don't know when this part's actually going up. It'll probably be a while. I already had numerous episodes uh, recorded that I didn't actually edit yet. It's probably like two or three of those episodes, and then I've just recorded several episodes in a row of both this and Paper Mario, so I've got like probably at least 10 episodes that I haven't uploaded yet that I have on my computer. It's just I, I had like a somewhat traumatic experience with my capture device. Because I had captured, I had, uh, I had recorded up to episode 9 of Paper Mario. And it so, something went horribly, horribly wrong with my Dazzle, my capture device. A, a lot of times it'll like get out of sync. Like the, the video, like the capture file will get out of sync. With, it'll skip or something, so it'll get out of sync with my uh, my microphone recording, which you know that's that's fine and all. I just resync it, but something went really wrong, and it actually the capture itself got out of sync. Like even without my voice, the the video and the audio of the capture were not in sync. But it was really weird because some things were in sync. It was like the music was out of sync. Certain sound effects were out of sync, but certain sound effects were in sync. Like Mario hitting enemies with a hammer, jumping on them, menu selections. That kind of stuff was in sync. So I don't know what happened, but I, I didn't know of any way to fix it. So I basically had to scrap all of those episodes. Actually, you know what, I think I did talk about this in one of the other parts, when I was in Dry Dry, not Dry Dry Ruins, Wet Dry World. I don't know. I think I have the problem sorted out, not that I actually even really did much of anything, it's just the problem doesn't seem to be happening anymore. It almost just discouraged me from LP, and what I was going to do, uh, there's more to the story I guess that I haven't said in that other part. What I was gonna do was be like, since I can't live in fear of this happening again, since I can't 
know that this is happening until after I've recorded. It's not something that goes like, ding, it screwed up, you better try again. It's like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna sit here and record, like, eight episodes, and then find out that the first one's screwed up, and the rest are also screwed up. So yeah, I did have to restart my Paper Mario file, but that's no problem. I was barely anywhere in it. I had just stopped right at the Cooper Brothers Fortress entrance. Damn it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so what I was gonna do is I was like, all right, I can't live in fear of this. So I've got, I've got to just, I think I got to buckle down and just save up to buy a, a whole new capture device. So I, I set off to, on an adventure to find out what capture device Chuck or Conroy uses, because. Uh, I, I was thinking of using the one that Nintendo Capri Sun and Josh Jepsen used, the Diamond VC500, I think it's called. So, uh, that's pretty cheap, actually. It's like, it runs for about 40 bucks, I think. Or maybe it's 50. But, uh, I've, I've read some bad reviews about it. Like, pretty bad reviews. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna find out what Chugga Conway uses. So after some digging, I found out that he uses the, uh, Black Magic Intensity Shuffle. So I was like, okay, let me see what that is. Turns out the, that that costs $189. It's like, ugh, whatever, I guess it's worth it. But I did a little bit more research on it, and you have to have... It requires USB 3.0. Which I'd never even heard of until I was reading about that. Come on! So I was like, all right, how do I, how do I know if mine even has it? Because my computer's pretty new. So after, you know, trying, after figuring out how to figure that out, I found out that no, I don't have USB 3.0, even though this computer is like three months old. And after some research, even getting into contact with, with HP customer service, that. My computer, the way it's designed, I cannot get USB 3.0. Like, there's something w with the makeup of it. I can't, like, replace the USB things. What I may be able to do is get a, uh, some sort of thing that lets me pass through, like, it would be like a separate dock that uses that has 3.0 and I would have to plug that into the USB 2.0 that I currently have. But even I don't even know if that'll work with the intensity shuffle. But after doing even after doing a little even more research, it turns out the uh, intensity shuffle requires at least a 50 a x58 based processor or something whatever that means. And I don't have that, so I would have to get a new motherboard, really. So it would just cost a crap ton of money just to be comfortable in my LPing. I would have to get a new computer just to be able to get the USB 3.0, probably. So this is probably running me over a thousand dollars at this point just to get this new capture device that I, I wouldn't have had a problem with if I'd known before I got my computer. Because I could have, instead of this computer, gotten a different computer. Oh crap. Ugh. I could have gotten a different computer. I could have avoided buying this $70 capture device. And instead, just started with the black magic. So that all would have been pretty, that would all would have been fine. And I could have got a computer that had a times 58 based processor or whatever. I wouldn't have to worry about that, but it's pretty much too late now. I mean, unless my LP career really hits off, which I doubt that'll happen. I'm probably just going to be stuck with this, this capture device. Come on. Come on, pole. And what's even worse is I'm I'm hearing talks of this new bill that start that's that may get passed 
I think it's called like S.978, which could potentially bring down LPs as a whole. It's some bill that is like trying to crack down on uh, piracy, basically, of movies and television and stuff like that. Because it aims to like make it a felony to upload like upload videos or streams of uh oh wait what am I doing? Let's see there. I need twelve more points. So it's a felony to upload ten videos or streams of a copyrighted work within a span of 180 days, I believe. And I know they don't mean to, like, uh, they're, they're not looking at LPs and being like, wow, this this is bad, we need to get rid of this. They're just aiming to get rid of, uh, mo like, movies and television and probably music, too. And that's fine, because that is harmful to their respective industries. But this is not res LPs and trailers and... Uh, you know, just gameplay videos, reviews, stuff like that, that's not harmful to the industry. It's only helpful. But, since there's no clause for get for video games, this would just completely eliminate them. It, they wouldn't be... They wouldn't be... They wouldn't be an exception. So that means if this bill is passed, if I understand it, any video game related videos unless with the express written consent of the video game developer would be illegal. So that means no LPs, no reviews, no trailers. That would bring down so many companies. IGN, GameSpot, YouTube would be a hell of a lot smaller. Classic Game Room. There we go. But I did watch a a video like a, l a few hours ago that makes me feel a little optimistic and that it's that th that this wouldn't apply to del to derivative works meaning that uh let me get out of here or something so ch ch she's a like law student <coughs> oh my throat she's a law student or something and what she was saying apparently made sense, and LPs probably aren't going to be taken down. But it's just something to consider before I, like, plunk down, like, probably over a thousand dollars. Just to say, like, two months later that, oh, LPs are done. You can't make videos anymore. And then I'll just be like, what the, man. Oh man, my throat hurts. It's killing me. Oh, I, I don't want to leave the level anyway. Holy crap. Forgot the red coin. Star. So just about this bill. Even it, it, just in case it does have to... Just in case it does pose a threat to LPs, just Congress before you pass before you pass this bill, just pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to the possible repercussions here. here we go. All you'd need to do is just amend it to be like, all right, okay, actually, video games can be excluded from this. Um. We're going to call that a part. See you next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64. Sorry for my rambling, but, uh, I don't know. Kind of bugging me. I mean, I don't even know if I'll actually make it that much as an LPer, but it'd be kind of nice to know if I could before I just get taken down, before, I'll, before I could ever know. 
Bye, guys.